Hi, and welcome to Factum Financial. I'm Kyle. And I'm Scott. And today we're going to be talking about life insurance. Now, you might have seen our silly little commercial where we were talking about life before having life insurance versus after life insurance. That was a great commercial, Kyle. Although we were making fun of what you guys were talking about, the reality is, is that the death benefit is something that is inside a life insurance policy, but it is not our focus at Factum Financial. Very true. So we are using a specially designed whole life insurance policy that's built for cash flow, not death benefit. So we're going to be dis discussing that today. And it's important for you to remember that, you know, people hear of infinite banking, uh, becoming your own banker, and they immediately say, oh, life insurance. Well, I've already got life insurance. Yeah. So they're missing the big, the big point. Now, this is not your parents' life insurance. Mm -hmm. This is not your neighbor's life insurance policy. It's not the business owner you know. It's completely different. So like we said, it's built for cash value, not death benefit. Exactly. Specifically designed to act like a bank. It's really important that you can differentiate between the two because as Kyle said earlier, it is not like your typical life insurance policy that you can buy at State Farm or AIG or any of these other insurance providers. Absolutely. So today we're going to be talking about the living benefits that we're after um, with this policy. Now the first thing is there's a guaranteed growth rate inside the policy in a contract with Absolutely. the insurance carrier. Now I like that because the guaranteed growth rate is 20 to 40 times typically what an average bank will pay us to keep our money there. Right. So right off the bat, I really like that feature. You know, I, I, we could just stop right there, couldn't we, Kyle? Absolutely. I mean, but there are many more living benefits. But in reality, 20 to 40 times what you'd get in a typical bank, crazy. Right. Just where we're depositing money, right? Now, one of the qualities I love about the policies is that we have complete control as a policy owner. Mm. Now, that means the insurance carrier does not own the policy. We do with a contract. And because we're a policy owner, we're also an owner of the carrier because it's a mutually owned life insurance exactly. carrier. Why is that important? Because when the carrier is profitable, mm -hmm. and a lot of these carriers have been for the last 100 years, yep. that means when they're profitable, we get to share in those profits as a policy owner or a company owner in the form of dividends. Exactly. Now, do we get that benefit at the bank? We do not, unless you own the bank. Unless you own the bank. Exactly. Now, as those cash values are growing in our policy, at 20 to 40 times what a normal bank pays us, mm -hmm. we have access to that cash. And how liquid is that cash? It's extremely liquid, Kyle. I think that's probably one of my favorite things about it is that I would call it an opportunity fund. Opportunity to access money when an opportunity presents itself. Extremely liquid, I can get my money. I've gotten my money as quick as three days. So it is incredibly liquid. Um, and I also don't have to deal with loan officers, which is something that I don't particularly enjoy. Um, all the paperwork and all the questions they ask me. Absolutely. It seems to go on and on. And I love, you know, the quicker you can make a, uh, a move on a deal, the often the better price you can get. Absolutely. So the, the liquidity factor is very appealing. Absolutely. Now, what about tax benefits? Tax benefits are huge also. Now, we have a lot of clients that will ask us, well, this kind of sounds like a tax gimmick or what kind of tax loopholes does this offer? Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. Life insurance has been around before the IRS, so everything is within IRS guidelines, but it's not a tax loophole. Exactly. The, the policies have been around longer, and mm -hmm. it's just the way they're built. They have very powerful tax advantages to them. The way the policies grow, how we access the cash, and how we pass on the, the tax-free death benefit when we do go. Exactly. And, and they're very specifically how they're designed. So it is important that you work with a, um, a, an agent that understands how to do this correctly. Absolutely. To keep it tax free. Very true. Now, one of the best abilities, and this is a, this is a big one for me, is when we have this cash value that's growing and accumulating for us, we can actually use some money mm -hmm. and still earn interest at the same time. That's now that, that is a feature that is in most life insurance products. People just aren't aware of how to actually utilize that. Yeah, that's a tough concept for a lot of people to understand because usually when you take your money out of something, there's no way for it to continue to grow. But because we're technically not taking it out, we are using it. We're using basically uh, uninterrupted compounding is what we're doing is the money stays compounding even though we borrowed against it. Absolutely. Now, let's say... 
I'm depositing money into my normal bank, Chase Bank, True West Credit Union, wherever it is. Now let's say I get critically injured or I have some kind of chronic illness that's taking place or heaven, for, heaven forbid I become terminally ill yeah. and I've only got a couple months, couple years to live. Is my bank going to offer me any type of <laughs> benefit? Absolutely not. Only the cash that's in my policy, right? But what's unique about a lot of life insurance policies, and especially the ones we use, is we attach some riders that will help you in those cases. So if I were to get injured and I couldn't come in and perform my, my daily tasks and work for my family, mm -hmm. or heaven forbid I get really sick and I've only got 12 months to live, yeah. the insurance company will let you access a sizable portion of your death benefit early so that I can enjoy my family time, the little time I do have left, or supplement some of that income that I can't actually work for now. Exactly, again, this, these are just living benefits and we have to, although we're, we talk so, so many uh, life insurance, people talk about the death benefit. Again, the focus here is on the living benefit. Absolutely. So this is just one more example of how it can help me while I'm living rather than when I'm dead. Absolutely. And now let's talk about the policies being creditor protected. Yeah, and big private. Deal. Big deal. Right? Exactly. A lot of very wealthy individuals understand how important it is to keep their money secured and private. Now let's talk about the death benefit after we've talked about all the living benefits. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that I love about my policy is the instant inheritance that it creates. And when I compare that, Kyle, to the a business that my wife and I own and run is that the instant inheritance is guaranteed. Uh, and revenue from the hotel is, uh, our business is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And so I immediately am able to forecast and see what my children will get at any given time in the future. With the policy. With the policy. And for me, that gives me tremendous peace of, of mind to know um, that although I'm not going to stop working, because right. I love what I do, but I will continue to have more than one thing working at the same time. Absolutely. And... I know you guys have spent many, many years building your business mm -hmm. with the hotels. Now, in the last few years alone with you buying policies to add to your banking system, would you say that the death benefit you've created inherently from buying the policies for the living benefits, has that death benefit become a higher number than what you could sell your businesses for right now? Oh, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's, it's an amazing number just because I guess for me is that I realize how hard I've worked on this business, but yet uh, the policy will be there regardless of how, how hard I work on it. Tax-free. Tax-free. That is such an important feature yes, right there. absolutely. So now as you can see, there is a big difference between the policies we specifically designed for cash value mm -hmm. and for banking purposes as opposed to a normal even a normal whole life policy or, or your typical life insurance policy, very big differences. And so we want to encourage you to stop focusing on the name because people just inherently hear, oh, you're, you're doing infinite banking life insurance. Yeah. You got to stop thinking of it as life insurance and start looking at the major functions of it. Absolutely. I mean, it, Nelson in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker, even says that it was misclassified. Mm -hmm. If you look at the major qualities of this policy, he said it should have been called a banking function mm -hmm. with a death benefit thrown in for good measure, yep. is what he says, right? Exactly what he said. And that's exactly how we look at it now. Mm -hmm. And so you gotta stop focusing on the name life insurance and start focusing on what it can actually do for you and your family. Yes, absolutely. So once again, as a bonus, Eventually, the whole family is going to have insurance mm -hmm. because right now in my family, we have eight policies mm -hmm. that build up our banking system. And the most recent policy we added to our system was on my three and a half month old son, Riker. And so people ask me, well, why do you need insurance, life insurance on a three month old? Mm -hmm. Well, we're not after the life insurance. We're after the living benefits I just talked to you about. Right. We've created a savings account for him that'll earn 20 to 40 times higher than any bank's going to pay us. Mm -hmm. Money's guaranteed to grow. We can access it anytime we want. Yep. And so by the time he's ready to finance his first car at 16, there's going to be a big chunk of change in there that we can go finance a car and pay back the family system. Right. It, it, what I love about that is 
is knowing that your son quite possibly would never step in a, inside of a regular financial institution because of the gift that you have given him. That's tremendous, Kyle. Absolutely. He will never have to go to a commercial bank for a loan because he'll use his system or he'll use the family system yes. depending on the size of the purchase. Exactly. That means we keep the principal and the interest we would have sent to a commercial bank. Mm -hmm. I love that as aspect and that's what we're really after, yes, right? Exactly. The living benefits. The living benefits. Now with his little policy, it also came with mm -hmm. just under $500,000 of death benefit. Yeah. Now, if they're going to give that to me as a bonus, yeah. I'm not going to say no to it. I'll exactly. take that, but that's not what we're after, right? Exactly. I enjoy going back and looking at the illustration on your son's policy, and we can, with, with a uh, guarantee, know exactly the type of car that uh, your son will be able to buy at that time. And I know uh, my parents weren't able to provide that for me, so I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see his first car. Absolutely. <laughs> so stop focusing on the name life insurance and focus on what it can do for you, the living benefits. Get a hold of us here at Factum Financial, and uh, we'd love to be able to help you to see how the living benefits in a life insurance policy can help you and your family. Thank you.